Good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a good day. It's supposed to rain here in about a half an hour. And here is Quartzsite. There's my van. Oh, no, wait. Let me turn around this way. <laughs> There's my van. And I'm just over here because there's a cell tower not very far. And I couldn't get a signal in, in our camp. And it was driving me crazy. I had transactions that I had to do. So I just decided to stay here in this little lot overnight. And um, when I first came here, I think there was traces of maybe one person. And let me show you what we got. So far, it's been really cool. I met about four ladies that um, one's a brand newbie, one's been a couple years and different things. It's a little noisy because of the highway, but I don't mind. Anyway, so I'm here and it's not really that cold, actually. Do you see my kitty hat? It was given to me by a, a gal named Christine that is in our, or Christy, I think it's Christy, that's in our caravan. Because <clears throat> she knows I like wearing silly hats or good hats or cool hats, however you want to call it. Oops, I see a battery on the ground. I think I'll get it. Batteries are not good for the environment. <laughs> that's your PSA for today. Anyway, I think I'm by. I think I'm by the fire department. I don't know. But anyway, it's a lovely day. Look. I think it is. Gloomy days don't bother me anymore. When I was younger, I used to get those gloomy day glooms and depression, and didn't want to get out of bed, and um, it's just stuff. I'm not like that anymore, thank goodness. Um, just wanted to tell everybody, oh, follow your dreams. I mean, really. I mean, I know it's fearful. I'm 67. I'm in a 23-year-old van, truly, with a little, po a, a little poodle. I was going to say poodle. I still remember my pickles with a little chihuahua. <clears throat> I have no family to speak of. That will bail me out on anything. Um, I don't know what to say. I just do it because, yes, I'm afraid. Yes, I'm afraid I'm going to break down. I had an incident out in the desert with a man that came up on me that kind of scared me. Things happen. They happen in the city. They happen in your own home. How many people have been murdered in their own home? <laughs> Think about that one. So, you know, we're here such a short time. Uh, don't hang around people that irritate you. <laughs> Number one. Follow your dreams. Not your mother's dreams, not your aunt's dreams, not your father's dreams, yours. Learn all about whatever it is you want to do. If you want to come out here and travel, learn about it. Let's go. I got a newbie lady uh, camped right next to me. And she's very disabled. She can barely walk. But it's now or never for her. And I get it. You know? So I told her a little encouragement. And she might even join our caravan. <clears throat> so... Whatever your dream is, please do it and hurry. You know, don't go say, oh, when my kids grow up, I'll do that. Or when I'm out of school, I'll do that. Or when I retire, I'll do that. You never know if you're going to make it that far. I didn't think I was going to make it this far, but I did. And I've had a tremendous life. Um, full of tragedy. Yes, lost my only son on Mother's Day in 09. And I can go on and on and on and on and on. You know, it could either make or break you. 
It can make you more compassionate. Or it can make you bitter. And I was bitter for a long time, don't get me wrong. It, it didn't come overnight. No, nothing comes overnight. I've worked very hard on where I'm at. Uh, and I've got so much more to go. I hope I don't kick the bucket before I do. <laughs> I want to get this right. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. If you have a passion for something. Say I don't have enough money. I don't have this. I don't have that. We all can say that. You know about anything. Right? And don't worry about the next life. Do you know there's going to be absolutely for certain without a shadow of a doubt? I don't know. So, <laughs> Betty had a little confrontation. So, oh, here's the quartzite sign. I didn't even know what sign it was. I was parked behind. Now I know. Yeah, so, I, I see so many people that are working through their problems out in the desert. It's not easy. You gotta face a lot of things when you're alone. Um, things maybe that you've put up off all your life and now it's time to get her done. I'm doing it and it's not easy, I'm still doing it. <sighs> but it's a process and it's a journey. And make your life a journey. Anyway, look. <laughs> Quartzite. Cool place, but there's too many people <laughs> right now. Um, Schooly Palooza is going on, so a lot of people left for that. Then I heard there was drama, which the more people you get together, that seems to happen. So I don't know what's really going on. I'm just kind of doing my own thing. It's kind of better that way sometimes. <sighs> but I have most of my stuff at my tent at camp. So, like all my beads and everything. I should have loaded some up to do it here. But I came mainly to uh, have a cell signal. And I, I joined Prime so I can watch stuff. <laughs> and get get my, um, what do you call it, um free shipping, I guess. So, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And everybody here has at least one dog. <laughs> and they're cute little old fluffy things and very, very old chihuahuas with little sweaters on. And Oh my God, the life. <clears throat> as I used to say as a host, you could walk around in a bathrobe with a a glass of wine and a poop bag in your hand and talk to the whole neighbors, you know. <laughs> and when people lived in sticks and bricks, they never even hardly ever got to know their neighbors, many of them. So out here, you can do the same thing. You don't have to get to know your neighbor, that's for sure. You can find yourself way out in nowhere land. Um, being my age and the age of my vehicle, <laughs> Um, I don't think I'll be doing that. I, Craigie Wash, I go out there, but there's always somebody there that you can get help from, or, <clears throat> I try to stay where you can get help. That's just me. Uh, Rebel Miner and some of the other people, they, they can go on these trips, like, in the middle of nowhere land, and I, I'll watch their videos. <laughs> so, anyhow, y'all, have a good day. Uh, as my mother-in-law used to say, down south Louisiana, it's starting to look ugly. <laughs> the darker the clouds, the more she'd say it. Ooh, it's looking ugly. <laughs> oh, you gotta love her. Anyway, goodbye, you guys, and have a good day. If you like the video, follow me. Follow my journey. Follow Miss Betty Petunia White. She's got more followers on TikTok than I do. I'm sort of jealous. Anyhow, do good. Give someone a smile. It's free. 
might get one back. That's free, too. Bye.